I'm Carol and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm here to film a back to school supplies haul. I really hope you enjoy it and let's just get straight into the video. I didn't buy a lot of stuff because I'm going to reuse a lot of things from last year, but still I'm going to show you what I bought this year. By the way, two more videos in English about this theme are coming out soon, hopefully, and also two videos in Portuguese. I'm just waiting on a couple of things uh, to happen first so I can then film them, but I promise I'm working on it. So the first thing I bought was my school bag. I didn't really need a school, a new school bag for this year, but Continent had this uh, really cool bag that I really loved. And then a couple of weeks from when I saw it, it was on sale. And so I decided to buy it. And here it is. This is my new school bag. It's in this dark blue. I think it's super pretty. It cost me 15 euros, 15 and 15 euros and 99 cents. Yeah, um, it's really big. Everything is going to fit in here. Um, it has two pockets or two compartments on the outside and then on the big compartment. It has one pocket. It's very simple, but I like it and I think I'm happy with my choice and I really love it. I decided to buy a smart notebook but I did not buy the original one just because I think it's really expensive and I'm not quite sure that it would be super useful to me and spending that much money on something that I don't know if it's going to be useful. It's not a very good idea. So I just, so I decided to opt for the option that they add at Continent which is the Talia smart notebook. <laughs> I bet everyone um, knows it, at least Portuguese people know it. <laughs> um, the concept of the smart notebook is just taking uh, the sheets of paper out and putting them back again. It kind of works like a binder, but but is more like a notebook because it has this rings like a notebook. Um, I already bought um, separators or spacers, however you want to call them. They came in blue like light blue, green, um, dark blue, yellow, and gray. I think I'm going to have five subjects on this notebook, um, which are going to be biotechnology, molecular and cellular biology, maths, Portuguese, and then ethics for gray. Um, I already bought squared or checkered paper, however you want to call it for maths because if I'm going to have maths I need a squared paper of course um and besides all of this the spacers and the paper I also bought two transparent document sleeves so I can carry around any documents with me on my notebook and they're actually very cool because I have two pockets in one sleeve I have one on this side and on the other side I have other one so they're kind of like two in one which is really cool for my writing pens I decided to choose the Schneider the Schneider tops 505 M they're in blue I just love their color it's a blue that you're not really used to see in uh, blue ink pens so I really love their color, they're really good quality. I remember testing them out a couple of years ago and I really liked them, so this year I decided to buy them. They were 32 cents each, so I guess it was a good choice and I'm really happy with them. I also bought a tape corrector from Milan. It has this sloths, I don't know if you can see, but it doesn't really matter because it's just a tape corrector and this year I decided to buy a tape corrector with good quality because I usually buy the ones that are not that good because I usually go with the, the cheaper choice and then they ruin themselves because they're not good quality. But this one I think it is good quality so hopefully it will last till the year is over. Hopefully. I also bought a glue stick because last year I needed a glue stick and I did not have one. 
so now I do I do have the glue stick yay it's always good to have one of these things in your pencil case I also bought lids refills because I'm someone who only uses mechanical pencils so you need to have lids refills these ones are from Scriva, they're 0.5 millimeters, which is my favorite lead size because my writing stays more neat and thinner and organized in my opinion. I do not remember the price, but this was less than one euro for sure. Um, so yay. Always have leads, refills if you only use mechanical pencils and if you refuse to take normal pencils to school, like me. I just do not enjoy to write with normal pencils it's just a personal preference that i have so do not mind me <laughs> i also bought a new stabilo swing cool highlighter i found this one in this color yes um at the store and i was just like yeah i use highlighters a lot so and these are very good quality in my opinion they are the best highlighters that i've ever had I still have the ones that I bought two years ago and they still have ink on them. They're here actually, but I did not buy them this year. These are from, I don't know, two years ago. Um, so I decided to buy this one. I do not remember the price, but I can look it up and include it in the video. Um, but yeah, Stabilo Swinkle eyeliners are just the best in my opinion. So it's a good option. I don't think you will be disappointed if you buy them. So. If you want to invest in highlighters, Stabilo Squinkle are, in my opinion, the best ones. I went to uh, this Korean store, I guess it's Korean, sorry if it's not, but I, I really do think it's Korean. Minizo that opened in a shopping center that I'm used to go. And they add a copy of the Zebra Mild Liner highlighters. Uh, and the Zebra Mild Liner highlighters are highlighters that I've been wanting for a lifetime now, practically. They are really good quality, I suppose, at least that's what people say, and they have really cool colors, and I've just been wanting them for so long. But I found the copy of them for six euros only. Um, you know, it came in a package, all these five highlighters for six euros, and they also add another package with different colors, but I decided to get this one because, you know, the colors were more, I don't know, my, my vibe, my thing. Um, and they actually have two tips, the eyeliner tip and the pen normal tip, you know. So they can, they came in gray, red, green, blue, and purple. And to be honest, I tested them out yesterday and they're not what I thought they were. My favorite is definitely the gray one, um, because... Not that the color is my favorite, but the quality, I think it's better. When you try them out on paper, they will be so light. It's almost like the color fades away and you can't really see them. The gray one, I think it's the only one that you can like see. Like, oh, I lighted this. But the other ones are just like, I don't know, really light and the color kind of fades away. Still, I'm going to try and use them, of course. I also bought uh, more post-its because I found this shape that I don't have in post-its. It's rectangular and this is really good um, to make like drawings, like biology drawings, explaining things or just giving explanations, um, writing explanations of processes uh, in these post-its and then sticking them on your notes or your notebook. I think it's really helpful and they cost me 50 cents so they were really really cheap um really really cheap not cheap <laughs> sorry and yay post-its are always a good choice um if you don't have post-its and you're a student i do not know what to tell you i mean you do you definitely but post-its they're really helpful and useful and I really like post-its because they're just really great to use when you're studying so just consider them please. I went to the book fair here in Porto and there was a stand that had things for kids and some school supplies for kids and I found this notebook that says homework's notebook but in Portuguese 
And I just fell in love with it. I mean, it's so cute. It's so childish, I know, but it's so cute. And it's just a normal notebook. Uh, but I'm going to use it to write my to-do lists, uh, to write my homework and also projects that I may have to do. And so I can keep myself organized and I'm really excited to use this notebook. Okay, you guys, so I guess this was my video of back to school supplies all. Like I said, I did not buy a lot of things because I'm going to use a lot of things from last year. But I really hope you still enjoy the video. More videos are coming out, like I said, just stay tuned. And thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel. Bye bye, see you next video.